So this is the person who has uh, accumulated the most points at circuit sanctioned events. I think this is like fifth time he's won this award. Mr. Shay Diggy. That's one of the awards we don't have in hand, but we do have your $200 prize. Probably the winner of that award would only be determined after provincials, but he got so far ahead that he couldn't be caught today. So, Same situation for the female pool of the year this year, and that's Linda de Groot. The Iron Man Award. This is an award we instituted a couple of years ago, and it goes to the the competitor who attends the most Ontario Arm Wrestling Association events during the year. And this time, this is the second time he's won this, Mr. Kyle Kurzweil. Two hundred dollars for Kyle. And for the team of the year, once again, they could not be caught this time. Uh, they didn't win last year, but they, they won, I think, the four previous years. Team Almighty. Well, Shay, Shay, you might as well come up and get the cash, so. <laughs> Alright, before we do the, the rest of the annual awards, we're going to do... Uh, the Hall of Fame induction ceremony. So, in 2010, we started the Ontario Armistice Hall of Fame. It's closely modeled uh, to the uh, Hall of Fame at the Canadian level um, that Joey and Scott started, I believe, in 2008. Each year, we honor uh, people who have either distinguished themselves by their athletic performance in the sport or uh, by all the work they've done to either promote, build, support the sport in some way. We have three inductees today. Let me tell you a bit about them. So our first inductee competed between the early 80s and the early 90s. He enjoyed early success, earning a silver medal at the first WAF World Championships that he attended in Costa Rica in 1983. Armistice was basically a right-arm sport back in the early 80s when he started. But uh, as left-hand competition started to grow during the second half of the 80s, he realized he was just as effective with either arm. This competitor has the distinction of being the first Ontario puller to win a Canadian Arm Wrestling Association national title, which he did when he traveled out west in 1983. By the mid-80s, he was really on fire, finishing second at the 1986 Over the Top World Championships in Las Vegas. That's the event that served as a backdrop of Over the Top, the movie. And he also won the 1987 WPAA World Championships. He only weighed about 175 pounds, but he enjoyed the challenge of pulling multiple weight classes in the same event, sometimes winning both left-hand classes, 175 and under and 176 plus. He played a major role in establishing Team London as one of the world's dominant arm wrestling teams of the era. During his competitive career, he won a handful of national and world titles, and though he stopped competing over 20 years ago, he remained involved in the sport as a master level referee for the many years that followed. I want to welcome to the Arm Wrestling Ontario Arm Wrestling Hall of Fame, Mr. Kevin Kelly. Our next inductee competed primarily between the late 80s and late 90s. He also enjoyed the success early in his competitive career, regularly competing and consistently placing near the top of the standings at Ontario events. He's amassed some impressive stats, including at least 10 provincial titles and 10 national titles. After taking a break from the sport in the early 2000s, he attended the provincial championships here in Greatman Hurst, 
in, in 2002, in a higher weight class and untrained, and he easily won another two provincial titles. He was one of the core members of the Port Perry Arm Wrestling Club, which was also one of the premier clubs of the ladies in the early 90s. I want to welcome to the Ontario Arm Wrestling Hall of Fame, Mr. Garth All Arms Carlson. has been a key figure in Canadian arm wrestling for over 25 years. During this time, she spent countless hours doing work to support the sport that few people are interested in doing, but that must get done. Scorekeeping, note-taking, bookkeeping, event logistics, you name it, she's done it. She was heavily involved in the initial formation of the Ontario Arm Wrestling Association in 1992. She played a key role in drafting the initial OAA constitution and had ongoing communication with other provinces and the Canadian Arm Wrestling Association. She held the position of Secretary Treasurer of the OAA for 15 years in a row, where she took on many significant tasks, such as editing the OAA newsletter and being involved in the coordination of the event schedule. During the 90s, she became more involved at the Canadian level and soon was selected, was soon selected, elected as the to the position of Secretary Treasurer for the Canadian Arm Wrestling Federation. She became Canada's head scorekeeper and works hard at the national championships every single year. She's also been organizing Team Canada travel arrangements to the World Championships since the 90s. When the New World Arm Wrestling Federation was formed in 1998, she was elected Secretary Treasurer for the World Organization, where she has, had, where she has uh, sat on many high-level meetings among international leaders of the sport. She has co-organized many huge tournaments as well, notably the Gloucester Fair International Championships, a couple of Canadian National Championships, and the 2003 World Championships in Ottawa. Welcome to the Arm Wrestling Hall of Fame. Ms. Lise Blanchard. <laughs> Lise was actually the first person I spoke in the sport. I called um, up Rick uh, Blanchard back in 1996 to come practice and she answered the phone and said, come on out, everyone's welcome. Really appreciated that. Congratulations to all of our Hall of Fame inductees. We have the results for a couple of the awards. We're going to give out the most improved color. And this year the winner of the most improved color is Tyler Robinson. are also in for the Promoter of the Year, and this year the Promoters of the Year are Joey Costello and Ashley Mayer. <laughs> and we have you award for them. Be an awesome event wherever we're going, and uh, really, I appreciate all the help that I've got from Ashley, Lee, Scott, Lance, everyone. Sorry if I miss anyone. George, where's George? George helped with all the awards, by the way. After the awards are handed out, you're responsible for them. Don't talk to George, take them to your truck, whatever you want. Don't leave them lying around. Thank you very much for coming out, guys. It's been, it's been a great event. Rookie of the Year. This is a closer race, but the winner this year is Ashley Mayer.
And finally, the Murray Park Memorial Sportsmanship Award. This is an award we give it, is given to someone who demonstrates good sportsmanship. And today, the winner is Craig Mitchell. Maybe you'll have to wait till next year. Okay, thank you. 